What's up tech, it's Josh here and I'm doing a slow motion video comparison between the iPhone 13 Pro Max, the Pixel 6 Pro, the Sony FX3, and the GoPro Hero 8. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to a channel supporter, MusicBed. Get incredible music for your video. Sign up with a free account. I use MusicBed for this channel and also my professional work at Evergreen Creative Company. Link in the description. Speaking of Evergreen, I had to do a product video showing that this hat was water resistant. So I was like, this actually might be a fun video to make even for my Baintech channel, even though I'm doing client work. So I wanted to see what camera could produce the best slow motion results. So again, this comparison is between the iPhone 13 Pro Max, the Pixel 6 Pro, the Sony FX3, and the GoPro Hero 8. So my plan for this video is to play these videos one by one and then side by side. The first round will have no color grading or anything like that. It'll just be a crop to make it fit inside of this video. And then I'll do some editing and see what you think. And I'll also show the final result of what I turn into the client. Let me know in the comments of which camera you think will work the best. And then after seeing the results, let me know which camera I should use for my client. My prediction is I'm gonna like the look of the Sony FX3 the most, but I'm gonna like the slow motion from the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The editing app is Final Cut Pro 10. It's the 24 frames per second timeline. All cameras are shot in 4K other than the GoPro, which was 1080 at 240 frames per second. The iPhone and Pixel were shot in slow motion modes. When dropping into the timeline, the iPhone footage was already slowed down. The Pixel, I had to manually slow down, which was set to 50%. The FX3 was shot at 4K, 120 frames per second, and slowed down to 50%. The GoPro, I was able to slow that down to 10%. So what do you think? After looking at all these videos, which do you think is best straight out of camera? After cleaning up the videos, I was shocked of how well the GoPro footage turned out. I was able to blow out the whites and keep the good amount of detail on the hat, which also made it a little easier to mask out the drink cans on both sides. I still favor the FX3 footage the most. I like the clean detail on the hat, being able to make better manual adjustments in camera, and then editing was just a little bit easier to work with. The phone images though, the footage was good, but I don't think they match up to the FX3 or the GoPro for that matter. The image was tougher to edit with the white balance, details, etc. I was able to blow out the white background pretty easy with the phone in GoPro videos, along with the FX3, but with the FX3, I was actually able to blow out that kind of stuff in camera. But it was nice to get all the adjustments done with the FX3 in camera, then make minor adjustments in post. So which one do you think I should turn into the client? Uh, I'm still gonna hold off to the end of the video to let you know which one I actually turned in. Three of us at the studio were definitely surprised of the results. Overall, we liked the GoPro video the best. The slow motion was butter and the way the drips fell over the hat looked great. What's crazy to me is that the GoPro Hero 8 is about two generations old and the cheapest camera out of all these devices. I will say this, prep time, lighting, and knowing some decent editing skills goes a long way. If I were to choose a video clip straight out of camera, the FX3 definitely takes the win in my opinion. So we ended up turning over the GoPro footage, that's the one that we liked the most and we turned over the FX3 as well. We wanted to give a couple of different angles anyways. Overall, if I had to choose one, the GoPro wins in my opinion. I'm still super shocked about that. I thought I was gonna like the FX3 the most, that's what I was gonna turn in, um, if I had only one video to turn in. But let me know what you would have done if you would have done anything different. This was just a basic video. I wasn't trying to do anything intricate or super extravagant. It was just a video to showcase of how this hat was water resistant. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found it interesting. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And until then, stay techie.